Hey, um, so I'm finally getting around to doing, um, an update. Um, it actually hasn't been that long, I guess, since my last video, but, um, so, um, medically, um, I've been back on the doxy the IV doxycycline, um, for a little over a week now, and that's fine. Um, and I, on the lower dose, I'm not having the, the problems with the sun, which is really nice. Um, and I started the rifampin, the oral antibiotic, um, last Thursday, so it's been not quite a week, um, of that, and so far so good. I'm only on half the dose, um, so I'm taking 300, no. 150 milligrams in the morning and 150 at night, um, and, um, I'm gonna increase it to the full dose, um, like, this Thursday, so, after a week of the lower dose, um, and I haven't really been having trouble with it, so that's good, um, but I am timing the doses so that I'm taking, um, nausea meds with it, or right before. So I think that, that works out well. Um, I also am just trying to be really, really, I got, I got myself really organized with my medicine. Um, and with the addition of the rifampin and the fact that the rifampin has to be taken on an empty stomach, um, I wound up, um, with, now I have, um, seven different times in the day when I have to take oral meds. So, up from, like, five. Um, so, um, I, for me, um, I can actually show. I use a week, um, a week for each day. This is a, underneath my labels that, you know, it says it's for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, so... Yeah, so I use a week organizer for one day, which I've done before, um, and I had a whole bunch of the week organizers, so, um, so that I'm able to do a week at a time, um, so I'm not having to constantly be organizing medicine, because that would suck. Um, so I'm doing okay with the rifampin, um, knock on wood, um, not really having the side effects that I had with it before, so, you know, we'll see when I get up to the higher dose how I do, and over time how I do, because I think that with me, with that med, um, the longer I take it, kind of the more likely I am to have side effects. Um, I'm still recovering from the tigacycline. It seems like it really, like, hit me hard. I mean, I was only on it. I did six doses of it, and that was split up because I took a day off, day and a half off, in the middle. Um, so, but it really, like, took a toll on me, and, like, my stomach still isn't back to normal, and I'm still not eating normally. Um, so, still kind of working on that. Um, so, yeah, so that's kind of medically how things are. I did labs last week, and which I think I actually had already done before I did my last video, but they were, um, pretty good, so, that's good. Um, also kind of in the medical subject, on the medical subject, um, we have to go through, um, I'm a, I'm on my dad's insurance plan as a disabled dependent, and I have been since I turned 25 and would have otherwise gotten bumped off, um, and... Um, so every year we have to go through the process of submitting the, you know, the l information from the last year to be, to have it renewed. Um, and so we were starting that process and it, it needs to, or it needs to be done, um, for the beginning of August. August 8th was, is like the cutoff date. Um, so I had my doctor photocopy stuff and, um, 
and unfortunately my doctor didn't really get enough stuff together, but, so I have to talk to her, but, um, you know, it was a start, so we sent it off to the insurance company, and then yesterday, or actually it was probably on Friday, um, but I found out yesterday, or on Sunday, that, um, <coughs> Uh, my dad's company is switching insurance plans and we were given two weeks notice um so <clears throat> August 1st is when the switch happens it's back to an insurance that we ha used to have that actually when I first went on as a disabled dependent that was the insurance that they had and then they did this and switched to the one that we have now um, also with very little notice, and it's just so frustrating, and kind of makes, makes me realize how most people don't really think about how there are people that it's a big deal for, <laughs> and that two week notice is not enough. Um, so now we have to try to get the stuff together to send to this other insurance, and w what's probably going to end up happening is that I'm going to have a lapse in insurance coverage. And it, once it, it once it does go through, it'll be retroactive. But um, you know, there will probably be a period of time where I don't have my primary insurance. Um, thankfully, this year at least I have um, Mass Health as a secondary insurance, so for prescriptions and stuff that will um, help because that's the thing that affects me the most with prescriptions. Um, last year when we were going through this I was on some very very expensive oral medications that I had to stop and um, eventually had to pay for limited supply of it out of pocket because I just had to be on it but um, it's just really really frustrating when people don't don't really think that about the fact that there are people with chronic illnesses, that there are people with very serious illnesses who this affects really profoundly. And I know that I'm probably in my whole dad's in my dad's whole company, I'm probably the only person that it affects this way. But um, you know, the other people might have chronic or life threatening illnesses or whatever, um, but they're not disabled dependents, so it doesn't affect them the same way, but, um, it's just really frustrating, and, um, non-medically, I'm back at work this week, um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm at the camp at the preschool, and then I'm also, um, taking care of a friend's, um, four-month-old son, who, um, is really cute, <laughs> but a kind of a handful. So um, I was there yesterday for five hours and I was there today for eight hours. <laughs> and um, it's, you know, he sleeps, so I have breaks and stuff. And I had my computer there today, so I was, you know, online and had a book and, you know, keeping myself occupied. But it's, it's tiring <laughs> and my arms are sore from carrying him around. He's kind of a heavy four month old. Um, so, but that's been, it's been good been fun. I'm probably going to be doing that for a couple of months, um, helping out. Um, this past weekend I went to Connecticut and stayed with my aunt and uncle and then went up to, um, the Eric Carl Museum, which I had mentioned that I was going to a workshop there, and it was really cool and a lot of fun, and I made a cool collage, um, that I've taken some pictures of, so I'll stick some pictures of that in, um, at the end here. Um, so, yeah, and then I got to see my, um, brother and his fiance and, Claudius the cat again. Um, and also my younger sister has found an apartment and is going to be moving out um, August 1st. So um, I will be able to get my own cat <laughs> um, sooner than I thought and I'll be able to move upstairs and have more space and kind of settle in which will be really nice. So, so that's it. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Alright, bye.